What's going on guys? Hey, today's a very special day, but before we get to fishing, we're actually doing something. I'm letting you in on a little bit of my personal life. I'm here with Pastor Joey of Well Springs Church. Thank you, Pastor Joey. Yes. So today, he is gonna be baptizing us. Now, I've been baptized as a child, guys. Stephanie has only been sprinkled, my wife, and then my child is getting baptized yeah. for the first time today. Love it. So, no better person than Mr. Joey here to go ahead and baptize. What's that all about? Well, what? baptism is a really interesting thing. So I know I'm talking to a bunch of fishermen. So here's what baptism would be kind of in a fisherman world. So you can have all the gear, you can have the poles, you can have all the gear, you can have all the shoes, the right boat, you got everything. But if you don't ever go out and actually fish, the question is, are you really a fisherman? And so what we're doing today is actually Josh is going public or even more public with his faith and so he's telling everybody all of you the entire world that he has a king in his life his name is jesus he's ready to submit his life his marriage his kids his business to serve jesus with everything so he's going public he's putting all the gear on for years and now he's going public with his faith so happy that you guys are on this journey with us hey guys it's gonna be an awesome time stick around like I said, this is a, a very personal thing, but I'm letting all you guys see what we're doing here today. And I invite you to come check out Wellsprings. Where, yeah. where are we located? 705 9th Street in Ruskin. All are welcome. Come as you want. Bathing suit, suit and tie, we don't care. Bring your fishing gear. We'd love to. And in fact, if you come to church, I'll go fishing with you. How about that? Because oh, I don't right. know how to fish. So I'd love to do that. Well, listen, he ain't lying when he says he don't know how to fish. He's the only guy that catches birds. I've, I have caught two seagulls before. Two seagulls. Zero fish, two seagulls. Yeah, well, we're going to change that. But hey, stay tuned, guys. We're going to have an awesome fishing day outside or after this uh, beautiful event. So give a thumbs up. Let's go. And I just want you to know we're proud of you. I'm proud of the, the, the Christian man that you are, the business owner that you are. Thank you for going public with your faith. Absolutely. You realize with the platform that you have on the other side of this camera, a lot of people don't use it like you do. So yeah. I just want you to know as your pastor, as your friend, I'm proud of you. Yes, sir. So I got a question for you, Josh. Have you given your life to Jesus? Absolutely. You ready to serve him all the days of your life? Yes, sir. Awesome. Based on that testimony, our brother, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried in the waters, Christ was buried in the grave. Race to walk in newness of life. Come on, let's cheer it up! Congratulations, bro. Man, so proud of you. Father, I pray for this man right here. God, I pray that he would be the husband that you called him to be. He would be the dad that you called him to be. He'd be the business leader that you called him to be. Father, I thank you for the anointing on his life. There's a lot of people that would love to just throw videos on YouTube and have a whole bunch of subscribers. But Father, you put an anointing. You put an anoint. it's a skill, but Father, it's an anointing from heaven to do what he does. So Father, I pray that you would bless him bountifully for the, the way he's going public today in his faith. In Jesus' name, amen. So, now speak? that Josh has been baptized, he has the privilege to step into really his anointing as the leader of his home. So we really believe that there's an apostolic, and that's a big word, but there's a apostolic calling on Josh's life. The Bible says that he's the priest of his home. So he leads his home. It's not demeaning to women or wives. It just means that God has called the husband to be the leader of his home. And that's not only a, a responsibility, but it's a requirement and it's a call. And so, Stephanie, it's like with our great privilege that we get to baptize you. And so um, I got a question for you. Have you given your life to Jesus? Absolutely. I'm so proud of you. Really, really am. Love watching you serve at the church and serve Jesus. Your smile is infectious. It's infectious. You can lead people to know Jesus just because of your smile. I love the way that you're so sensitive. You're sensitive to the Holy Spirit's leading. And I just believe that today is going to mark so much in your life. So your husband, Josh, and then me as your pastor and friend, we have the privilege to baptize you. So if you'll put your hand over your nose, it's our great privilege. By the way, have you given your life to Jesus? Can Absolutely. I ask you that? Yes, okay, good, good. Based on that testimony, we baptize you, our sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried in the water as Christ was buried in the grave. Race to walk in newness of life. Come on, everybody cheer it up. <laughs> Give her a big hug. Give her a big hug. Picture. Why don't you get a couple pictures? Yes, here. Right here. 
love it. That's so special. beautiful. Anybody else? Awesome. Can you get it with your camera? Again, this is Araya. This is Josh and Stephanie. I know you guys all know, you know Josh. You know everything about Josh. Uh, but this is Jazzy. This is Kevin's daughter. And he is uh, has the opportunity to baptize his daughter. And then they're going to baptize Araya. So I got a question for you girls. Have you asked Jesus in your heart? Yes. Are you ready to live for him all the days of your life? No matter what? Love him more than boys? More than toys? Yes. More than TV? Yes. More than anything? Yes. You're going to serve him all the days of your life? Yes. You promise, promise, promise? Yes. Awesome. Well, girls, if you'll turn and face the camera, we're going to baptize you. Our little, why don't you guys lock arms? Lock arms. Oh, there you go. Okay. We baptize you, our little sisters, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried in the waters, Christ was buried in the grave. Down. Raised to walk in newness of life. Come on, I'm cool with that. Hey, let's pray over you guys. Can we do that? You want to hop in? All right, guys. So, hey, Chris, he was sprinkled as a baby. At what was? age? What age? Oh, baby. Can't even remember. Before yeah. one. Yeah, probably. So, Catholic. I, I think he's uh, he's chosen to to get submerged by baptism because in the Bible it says you yeah. should be submerged. Yeah, every baptism in the Bible is by what's called immersion. So you're 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 under the water and you come out. And the symbol of that, if you're wondering, and listen, if you've been sprinkled, maybe you're watching this, you've got a Catholic background, there is nothing wrong with that. We're not trying to diminish what happened. Chris is not doing this in dishonor for what his mom or dad or grandma and grandpa said. This is actually just an added to what he did when he was a little bit ba little baby. But it's important for you to know that Jesus was baptized by immersion. John the Baptist was baptized by immersion. Every baptism in the Bible, you go in and out. And the symbol is this. We were once living in sin. So you go, you go in the water, which represents the old man, and you come out, which represents the new man. And so I've been, I've loved watching your journey, Chris, watching you just grow in your faith. And I think many of you on the other side of this camera may know Chris as like a fisherman, Chrissy Poo, as a fisherman. But I want you to know, He's a man of God, and uh, he loves God, loves Jesus, and uh, he's ready to surrender all of his life to him. Absolutely. Is that right? Absolutely. Chris, it's my honor. Josh and I's honor. Can Josh join us in this? Oh, I don't have Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Yeah. If you want, yeah. Why don't you cover up your nose? Well, I got a question for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Have you given your life to Jesus? Absolutely. Trusted him as Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Amen. Based on that testimony, we get the privilege to baptize our brother Chris. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Here we go. Buried in the waters, Christ was buried in the grave. Raised to walk in newness of life. Come on! I'm so proud of you, bro. Give me a hug, dude. You want a hug? I'll give you a hug. I am proud of you. Father, I pray that this moment for Chris would be one that sets him up for his future. God, I thank you for the incredible woman you've placed in his life. Father, we believe a day in the very near future they're going to get married. They're going to have kids and they're going to have a family. Father, I pray that blessing upon blessing upon blessing is awaiting this man, this family. And I pray that this would just be a marker, a defining marker in every part of his life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That was the start of this video. Long intro, but one that is probably our most important intro that we've done to date. So stay tuned. We're going to go catch some fish. Make sure you give a thumbs up. Hey, come check us out over at Wellsprings. I think you'll like what you see. Amen. You gotta do the work if you wanna have the fun. Got two on board right now. I'm using my old rusty Kabiki outfit. And it is all beat up. I really like making my own Sabikis, to be honest. Y'all know that if you've been watching me for any time. Squirrelfish, looky there. You know what? We're gonna toss him in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up a spear. Yes, I call him squirrelfish. Sand perch. For you guys that want to correct me.
bait was pretty scarce, so interested to see how the fishing turns out this evening. But we're gonna go ahead and run south, uh, see uh, see if we can go locate some redfish, and maybe a snook or two. Let's go. Well, like I said before, we bait was tough to catch. Probably got more sand perch than anything. So that's what we're gonna be throwing out here to see what happens. Uh, if you aren't familiar with a sand perch, that is a sand perch. Was. So, also guys, the new Selena. You remember, I just did that video the other day. We're gonna be flexing this thing. Got our Gamagatsu two out hook. We'll hook it just like that. But look at that, Spro 15 pound line, 14 pound line. Let's go see what we can catch. 20 minutes later. It's a little early, but I gotta try. We're gonna switch it up. Let's put a little snack on here and what I'm gonna do, to make the chase that much easier, I'm gonna trim this tail. Watch this. Money. Still using my uh, cut piece of squirrel fish. That's what we've been waiting on. A little quick move. I think this might be a dirty dirty. She's got some big old shoulders on her. Okay. Oh, yes. Hey, the new Selena did its job. What a beautiful fish. This is pretty close to a dirty 30. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna let her go. It's a 28 and a half? Yeah, it's very close. Probably. But man, that Selena did the job, guys. Got my got two three aught Nautilus right in the side of the mouth, and that's a pumpkin. What a beautiful fish. Come in the light a little bit. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah. Whoa, hold on. Bump that ISO down Look now. Yeah, she's got some battle scars on her from being caught before, it looks like. Uh, we won't hold her up too much. Let me know when you're ready. We're ready. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Let me get her by the tail. Get her a minute to get her a drink, guys. Oh, never mind. She had lots left. Hey, hey, that's what it's all about right there, boys and girls. Let's go. Let's see if we can get Chris on one. Hey, guys, y'all are going to love this. Check out the Chris cam. All right, here we go. Chris is on with something. What you got there, buddy? All right, guys, we're hooked up. Oh, no. Dude. <laughs> Chris catches lots of catfish. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie guys, we have been out here grinding. <laughs> just just letting our bait soak, doing hey, hey, don't worry man, I'll let you use my footage of my red fish. Hold on. Hold on, what you got? What is that, Chris? Oh, it's a catfish. 
He said, he said, get the camera, get your camera. <laughs> it's, it's probably been about an hour and a half since Josh has redfish and the bite's gotten extremely, like we actually haven't had a bite. And Hold on, show us, show us your friend. Oh yeah, that's cute. Guys, if you want to book a trip, saltyscales.com. I catch redfish, Chris catches catfish. Hey, it's not like he's been catching a lot of redfish or anything. I haven't been fishing for a lot of redfish. Right now, I'm just kind of chill, I'm let, oh, trying to let him get on the so board. Full of it. We got the same. We got the same. One rod, one bait, doing the same thing. Oh look, he's talking to you. He's like, yeah, ooh ooh, rub my belly. I'm glad you think this is funny. <laughs> Watch him, guys. He's scared of these things. <gasps> hey, I'll throw a picture up right here. Yeah, I don't want nothing to do with that. Hey. Rub that little guy's belly there. Oh, he's so cute. Look how cute that is. Yeah. Oh, I got a great hook set. Wonderful. I'm glad we got the camera for you, buddy. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. I promise you, I'm not trying to catch these things. Yeah, you are. All right. Let me show you what happens when you get off the water and you have to drown your sorrows away in food. You get breakfast at 9.30 at night. Josh gets Alfredo. Hey guys. That's a victory Alfredo. I think I'm gonna add this video that he's doing to my catfish article on Salty Scales, how to catch catfish, saltwater. <laughs> Book your catfish charter today. Special rates. Oh.